From ground systems to rockets and from private to government sectors, it's clear that China is taking cues from SpaceX in nearly every area. Their latest and most ambitious endeavor is the Long March 9, said to be China's most powerful launch vehicle yet, inspired heavily by SpaceX's own designs. With this new rocket, China aims to achieve bold milestones, including advancing in the lunar race. Meanwhile, NASA's systems are grappling with mounting challenges, underscoring the critical role of SpaceX and Starship in helping NASA stay ahead and counter China's strategic ambitions. So just how powerful is China's new rocket, and how will SpaceX outmaneuver these so-called imitators? Join us as we dive into all this and more on today's episode of Great SpaceX. You may recall that I mentioned a notable Chinese rocket design that closely resembles SpaceX's Starship, the future iteration of the Long March 9. Soon, this model will make its debut. According to Science and Technology Daily, China will showcase it at the Zhuhai Air Show on November 12th. Alongside the Long March 9, the event will also feature the Long March 10A, the initial version of their lunar rocket. Long March 9 is set to become China's largest rocket, far exceeding the current Long March 5, which stands 27.6 meters tall with a 3.5 meter diameter. In comparison, Long March 9 will be a massive 114 meters tall with a diameter of 10.6 meters. This rocket will be powered by 30YF-215 engines, each producing 450,000 pounds or 200 tons of thrust, for a total liftoff thrust of 13.5 million pounds or roughly 6,000 tons. The reason it's often called a Starship copy lies in the recent design revisions. Currently, Long March 9 is an expendable model with up to four optional side boosters, each five meters in diameter. However, the future version of this rocket will adopt key Starship-like features, most notably a reduction from three stages to two and the addition of flaps for controlled descent. These updates will enable reusability, while the YF-215 engines will switch to methane and liquid oxygen, just like SpaceX's Raptor engines. With these mimicry tactics, China is moving forward with confidence in its ambitious plans for the Long March 9. Once operational, the Long March 9 is likely to replace China's current rocket lineup for key missions, such as resupplying the Tiangong space station. While some believe a rocket of this scale is unnecessary, Tiangong is expected to expand in the future, accommodating more astronauts, which will ultimately necessitate a larger launch vehicle. Beyond Earth orbit, the Long March 9 is seen as a pivotal asset for China's lunar ambitions. Although the Long March 10 is planned for crewed lunar landings, the Long March 9 will handle the transport of modules and other infrastructure needed to establish the ILRS lunar base in the early 2030s. And following lunar operations, it's likely this rocket will be adapted for Mars missions, especially if it evolves into a Starship-like model with reusable capabilities. Such a version would enable China to undertake extended missions to Mars quickly and at reduced costs. China may also mirror SpaceX's groundbreaking approach to rocket recovery. A private Chinese company, Cosmo Leap, has already introduced a catch system for their Leap, or UATN, rocket, which could potentially be adapted for the Long March 9. Although Cosmo Leap is considered private, it appears to have significant state backing, so integrating their technology would likely be straightforward. The Long March 9 is projected for its first launch in 2033, marking a new chapter in China's space capabilities. As China's space program accelerates largely due to unconventional strategies, NASA's approach appears increasingly passive by comparison. Although the Artemis 1 mission launched successfully in 2022, it required substantial time and funding, resources that are now being poured into Artemis 2. However, progress remains slow. Only recently did NASA transport the first components of the SLS to Kennedy Space Center, and with less than a year until Artemis 2's scheduled launch, the rocket is still not fully assembled. This raises significant concerns about when critical testing will even begin. The Orion spacecraft itself faces notable challenges, especially with its heat shield. After years of investigation into heat shield issues, NASA finally identified the problem but has kept further details under wraps. It's still unclear whether they'll replace the heat shield entirely, which could further delay the mission. Alongside this, repairs to the mobile launcher system after Artemis 1 have taken considerable time, and recent reports from the GAO raise cost concerns and cast doubts on the exploration ground system's readiness. Looking ahead, other elements of the SLS program also face scrutiny. The Boeing-built Exploration Upper Stage, or EUS, and core booster for the SLS Block 1B model are reported to have quality issues, further escalating costs and pushing timelines back. 
Compounding these issues, NASA continues to allocate funds to new projects with uncertain futures. The Viper rover, once heavily funded, was recently considered for cancellation despite nearing completion. Likewise, the Lunar Gateway project raises questions about compatibility with Artemis components, particularly the Starship HLS. In the face of these challenges, it's clear that NASA needs a more streamlined, solution-oriented approach to maintain competitiveness in the new space race. My point is not to praise China while underestimating NASA. However, based on recent developments, it's difficult to feel confident that NASA can easily outpace China in the current space race. The next critical milestone for NASA is the Artemis II mission, and the question remains, will they launch on time, and will the mission succeed? Only time will tell, but fortunately, NASA's program still benefits from the inclusion of SpaceX and its groundbreaking Starship. Also, in October, Starship completed its fifth flight, Flight 5, marking a notable achievement as SpaceX successfully caught the Super Heavy booster with the Mechazilla arm. This progress has positioned SpaceX on track for Flight 6, currently set for November 18, a full year after Flight 2. Flight 6 will include another super heavy catch, an in-space engine relight, and a heat shield test, all paving the way for key advancements in 2025. Next year, we can expect SpaceX to further refine Starship's recovery capabilities by catching the ship itself, marking a major milestone toward full reusability. Achieving a full reusable rocket will allow SpaceX to launch at a quicker pace and lower cost, an edge that China is actively trying to emulate. In addition, SpaceX is likely to debut the updated Starship V2 as part of these advancements. By March, SpaceX plans to establish an orbital refueling system, significantly enhancing Starship's mission flexibility. With this infrastructure, flights will become more frequent, and Starship will be prepared with in-space refueling capabilities well ahead of Artemis III. SpaceX's ground operations are also ramping up. The Star Factory has begun production, enabling faster hardware manufacturing. As evidenced by the swift stacking of S-33 within 41 days, production speed is only set to improve from here, further accelerating SpaceX's progress. Meanwhile, SpaceX is steadily advancing its testing and launch infrastructure. The integration of the Flame Trench has shown significant efficiency, and the construction of additional launch pads and prototypes is aimed at further boosting launch frequency. This expansion is not limited to Starbase alone, as the Starship system is likely to extend to Florida as well. In terms of the lunar program, SpaceX has made strides with subsystem testing. Recently, the company unveiled the interior design of the HLS nose cone, showcasing unprecedented potential for lunar missions. And while China has yet to replicate the current Starship, SpaceX is already on the verge of introducing a new iteration, complete with upgraded hardware and engines. This next-gen Starship promises a colossal 10,000 tons of thrust, solidifying the US's position in the space race and casting a long shadow over over China's efforts. With each success, SpaceX is demonstrating its readiness to meet the Artemis III schedule, even if delays occur in the earlier stages. A timely, successful Starship launch for Artemis III would deliver a decisive edge over China's ambitious plans. It's worth noting that many Chinese SpaceX replicas have faced setbacks, underscoring SpaceX's lead in this competitive field. The stage is set for a groundbreaking showdown in the new space race. On one side, we have an industry leader driven by relentless innovation and the goal of multi-planetary existence, and on the other, an ambitious competitor whose rapid progress and willingness to adapt rival that of the Soviet Union in the last century. Unlike the original space race, this competition has multiple layers, testing the limits of technological ingenuity, geopolitical strategy, and the drive to secure dominance in the final frontier. China's accelerated pace and keen adaptability are making them a formidable rival, their incremental advancements strategically placing them closer to key milestones, such as a lunar landing and plans to establish a lunar base. The unveiling of their Long March 10A rocket and plans to launch Taikonauts to the moon by 2030 underscore a focused and rapidly advancing agenda. Meanwhile, SpaceX, led by its flagship Starship, has achieved remarkable strides. From rapid prototyping and high-frequency testing to the ongoing iteration of hardware and mission profiles, the company has maintained a lead that feels increasingly insurmountable. Starship's continuous evolution, including in-orbit refueling, advanced heat shield systems, and reusability upgrades, positions it as a powerful asset in America's strategy to regain space leadership. The upcoming years will be decisive. 
Should SpaceX meet its ambitious target of returning astronauts to the moon by September of 2026, it could signify a pivotal win in the era's space race. The outcome would not only affirm SpaceX's dominance, but also set the stage for humanity's next chapter in space. What's your take? Can SpaceX secure a victory and effectively end this race on top? In any case, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.